It's our turn already. Oh, no, that's sad. I have the room. You have Walter here if you want. Beautiful. Thank you so much for having us, Mia. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for coming on a Sunday night in January. I appreciate it. Do I have to sit in the throne? No, you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. Sure. <laughs> I have to read, so I won't sit in the front, but if I could just have a second. This feels wonderful. Now I'm the one. So I, I knew Thomas Simon a little bit. Um, I emailed him when I'd never published a book in England. I mean, nobody in England knows me now. I'm better known outside of England because nations hate their own sons, of course, and daughters. But as it is, um, I did email him cold before I ever published a book. And he came and met me for dinner, and we became friends. And I don't know, I just stayed with him. I'm glad to. It actually is very special to me to read here. It's a great honor. And we corresponded for years right up until his death in 2014. So I have a poem that I will finish with, which is made of his poems that I smashed together and reconstructed in the year after his death. So I will finish with that, which obviously is a kind of tribute to him. And I wrote articles about him in the UK as well to kind of spread the love about his magic work when he was, uh, when he was gone. So yeah, it's a lovely thing to be here in this space. Uh, I'm going to start by reading from uh, a book that is undoubtedly my most romantic tome. It's called Enthusiasm, and it's about um, animals and babies and other things like that. So I'm going to start with probably my most romantic poem. It's called There's the Newly Deaf Dolphin, and it's about a dolphin who has got a walnut stuck in its ear, which obviously is, is emotional. There's the newly deaf dolphin mothering me again refusing to acknowledge that it can hear just a little but faint sounds upon the moving of the human age which lies upon its person. Admiring a tale tethered over with music that isn't just thinking about itself so much that it ended up worrying about what was on its way out and ignoring the water everyone and their mother was swimming in which was choppy with blood that everyone thought it was cranberry juice good for the kidneys. Now I'm going to read a series uh, of poems about babies. Bath with Marlborough. If a baby dies in Bristol, does it not rot? Attracting maggots, it does. So why am I not allowed to kill now before I've gone in Newcastle, standing outside the strip, working deals, on a door? I see four bags, and one bag, and then a bottle and I punch into the boy's face and run down, knifing another boy in the ear, which rips. Law. The heat of everyone is corrupt. If you expect more than that otherwise, there exists no one organized enough to maintain conspiracies of inhuman enough to keep secrets. Bear in mind that if you do not expect more than transfer like a base to base inheritance, you will be shocked to far more than you could have imagined in the hearts of everyone. For my partner, I believe I am redeemed by how thinly veiled my dog is on the fellows, the high street going. There are other things too, things I do with my hands. Cured meat. A baby is cruel as a crystal baby. In its eye, you can't see Romania, and that is the fault of the crystal pipe which replaces everything alive and ruined with a red dark cabbage which was once a crystal baby. You cannot replace it, break it, ruin it. It dies to protect perfect insulation material. Hard hunter. Dinner. Muslim baby is a hard hunter of the wicked. Wiping sweat. Seems like a profession parents are proud of. A walkie-talkie, a book on top of a wardrobe. Everyone needs to find true love. The bloom is not a flower, it's a scar, glowing bees. Don't leave the baby by the shoes outside the mosque, mate. Bed eater. Baby eats the bed, late for a meeting. Rusk is made of soaring horse, no paperwork for the supply chain. Bare chest summer baby is brawn. Pickled tin has the same name. No limits to its weekend. The car in the murder cloud, the lake, the baby has only one color, milk of the poppy tit. God himself was a baby. 
God himself was a baby lady, creating comedy, mills, ladybirds, beans. There were no limits. To the seventh day rest, braided baby bear, white as a polar bear, I knew him then, before he had changed, before social services let him down. Cub. A bear I am, I am, with rubber claws, cradling a swaddled china baby. The infant whose family crest is a mad pipe, not a swinging pipe, not a bolo baton, but a made in Chelsea China concrete cigar, which was the 59th of its name, and a clit is not that scary when you've seen quite a few of them. Social services. The roots of social services is in the throats of socialist labor, when they were left, which began with Jesus Christ, who was a Jewish lady, who giggled when lifted, and whose breasts jiggled when he was shook, which was a little bit out of order. And where were his guardians then? Where were the social services? Endemic failures across the board as standards and morals are not changed from 2013 years ago in the Middle Eastern desert. Mutu. Baby Mutu drove a minivan into a wall of nipples and came out sucking his thumb. Covered in the airbag's powdered milk, and later on, after Chelsea, he couldn't even finish his breakfast because of that baby 59 and his suffering, who was obviously sent by God for adult Mutu, and whose pain was worse than all those unnumbered Romanian babies who will have to get in line. Adult Mutu's life said, okay, and now there's a coke party in a Jaccio to celebrate. Virgin Mary. The Virgin Mary might not have been fucked, but she didn't have a caesarean, so all the more stretching horror cups from Baby J mellowed out. A conception like chess, where man and woman can play without it ending up regrettable. Can you imagine what it would be like if Erica or Ali or Heitzman got pregnant? Not good news, not good, and abortion. Karate. Master Bear made me, said the talking baby to the silent parrot. But then he left me, he had, to ask to do in Porto, then Oviedo. Then Virginia commissioned him to paint the royal family in words, and choosing between money and life, he made his choice. When I am a grown-up sexy girl, I'll get my revenge. I'll key his fancy car. Immersion, he turned. Baby in the bath, my inheritance to you is hundreds of half-brothers and sisters, each one a different shade of pinkish brown, depending on their assorted mother's race. Be nice to each other. You share blood. Remember, an American accent almost always sounds thick, and I'll bury the treasure you'll need to buy your robot citizenship when they take over by the old fucking tree. Out for justice. Baby bullet, you're legal in somewheres, and knives too, if only one side is edged. I feel safer already, and I'm suddenly legally prepared to cut your umbilical cord. In Africa, they eat placenta. In Spain, egg cake. In Greece, pie. But we aren't there, we're here. So baby mush and some tempero wearing a wig will be absolutely 100% fine. Thanks for asking. Retrospective when the artist is still alive. Baby Bowie has one eye green and one blue. He sings Berlin down. I like that, but I don't believe my friend Alex that often, so I prefer Alice Eve, though she's posh, and whose body you saw stuck into darkness, which also launched Menel and Cumberbatch. Not one of them are a match for the protection afforded by the best quality deodorants, and offer those smelly girl pits are awestruck. They're my happy baby poems. I'm sure you all recognize the babies that you know in those poems. I will read from a, a more recent work, though I imagine it to be worse. This poem's called Loneliness Wrestles Christmas. Those that arrive covered in liquid will, like a leak, spread. With a tail as a euphemism, your nose is a map. Body parts will never be enough to help you through this lonely Christmas period. Instagram awaits.
Closing the door as you enter, the fog of the angry and the never ready plumes and obscures your view. Grateful, you wrap your bones, sanded smooth for casting, in the free paper provided by Car 4. The man at the sale of poisons counter sells you poisons as though they were petitions. And with all your shopping done, you realize shopping is fun. The governments of the past had it wrong. They all come to you on film from the past and ask which side are you on. You reply, your side. You are indeed from the past and settle down with fruit po popcorn in a bear's skull. Silence of the lambs is on. Finally, you don't have to say the things you don't mean. Crimson Peak wrestles the empire. British aristocracy portrayed as lovable because they can be. American appetites for deeper histories, plastic industries, and being pale. Waiting in the rain for him to leave, old clothes well tailored, staying put all alone. Do the drapes match? Beware of Crimson Peak. Quite sharp, quite interesting development, don't you think? Your accent, not a complicated dance really, yes, charming, dashing, so much so to obscure so much. Be behind it, People say, grinding, eyes closed to the grind, wouldn't you say? The inherently bad wrestles masculinity. A woman approaches a dog and says, good boy. The dog says, I'm not good. A city of sickle cells is not even a relation to the bloodthirsty accident that makes up a city of people. People are cells out for dust. The best one can hope for is to be, or rather admired, which is also never known to most. What is genetic and not in fashion? I have a mean streak for the underground, which is not to say there is not disease in you lumping us in together. Your talking is the poetry now. Also a trait to aspire to self-sufficiency in order to love. To not care what everyone thinks. Everyone is something. Admirable quality makes a comeback in that scene from Terminator 2, when the skeleton became a viewer of the mushroom cloud. The paramedic wrestles the body. You have the grace of a corpse lost in a river rapid. The oncoming crisis that threatens to dam that river as though it were an artery in the leg or neck. I couldn't help but look on in terror at the bloated stomach. And as my belly grew taut and round, it seemed to accentuate how bony my arms and legs had become. The muscle and fat seemed to have shriveled away, leaving my knees and elbows as skeletal as they had ever been. I was asked to leave upsetting those who had bought tickets, and suddenly, my politeness meant nothing. Now to the most readable of my books, which I despise, but I'm weak, so sometimes I write poems that people can understand. <laughs> Bears won't attack me. A friendly history of vegetarianism. It's that which lurks in the shadow. A woman says bread is in the nose and throat. And beasts were tame when she said that. Tracing back the relationship between food and life, we see that it stems from a chemical reaction. And sunlight builds up complex compounds within plants, which can be used by animals when consumed and then stored by them, an energy to grow and breed. But that's not enough for you. To see it become a component of fertile soil, the metabolic process by which a living organism puts off the onset of decay, you are merely assimilating, from the Greek meaning change or exchange. Organisms consume food and exude waste. Bears attacked me. They're so delicate. That's why those above who can't be loved are asking, why can no one love me? It's like a blind bear biting my crotch. This evening is a letter of correction. There have been two marathons to suffer. One was running, the other a poetry reading.
with two dogs, two female dogs, and collaborate. So if we could have a quiet debate for the letter of the sun that burns permanently into my brain, I can say it was a bitch surrounded by the suffering of museums. Sometimes the poem, like the man who imagines he's special to the prostitute, goes on and on and on so long, you wonder if it's a parody of its own length. You'll find a bee and sting me with it. The length of body stacked end to end allows more room for the numbers to be known by many. Bodies become rides across the sand. They get icy. They become the brick in walls splitting the land, dividing the museum from the living quarters. Here there are those who still kneel for mercy. They land in the mud, into the ether, namely that which is not and need not be. That which was once a vision and is now reality, and knowing that, I tell you, it's a wholly untrustworthy path. You cannot know what is not. Our universe has no other purpose than its own existence. Fake Black Belt and Life, which has an epigraph from Pablo Neruda. And the animals couple frankly, and the bees smell of blood, and the flies buzz angrily, and the cousins play strangely with their girl cousins. Reading reports, that explains it. You are unafraid of death because you haven't thought about it. Money doesn't control you. You are free from that, like some sort of lion or big cat with wealthy parents. Accusations of financial impropriety reflect more succinctly your father's desperation to talk more and not let your mother rule the house. I saw all this doing a bad job of your family's bookkeeping. Now I live where you visit, and in that space I thrive treeless with your sister. Here I'm having children with myself, and she's watching, mate, and there's nothing you can do about it. I shall finish on this poem made of Shalaman's lines that I've taken from multiple poems and smashed together, and I don't remember how I did it, so I can never explain it. Quietly shown the door in memory of Thomas Shalaman. In beauty of awe is the furthest from history a human can get. But if pressed, until nobody is coming out from the little cans of the past, there might be a shift. History is eroded into its friend, Tomash, who didn't propel weapons and wouldn't go to fight. He needed round molds and inscribed them above the livestock, like a brand, but not that word as that word means not what it once did. He was the one who doesn't pledge the jet. He bit at the serene health until the great deafness told him, use iodine, dress up, stay put. Your double barrel is the clay, and on the hard sand grains grow. Was he a little torn apart by the length of light? Of course, lights fuss about everyone, and each life will have at least one moment of justice between it. Two dates. That is all it is. This is him. He went to the store with his wife to buy water all the time. Thank you very much.